To be honest, um, in my childhood, I dreamt of a lot of things, right? I dreamt that I was going to be an astronaut. I dreamt that I was going to be a princess. But honestly, um, as a child, making film was not a dream of mine. Um, being a ballerina was a dream of mine. And I became a filmmaker because I was a ballet dancer in Rome. And to be able to survive, I was a makeup artist at Cinecitta um, on film sets to be able to pay for my education in ballet. And from there, that's when I gained my knowledge about filmmaking and that's where I became aware of filmmaking and that it would be possible to even have a dream like filmmaking because before that I didn't think it was even obtainable so it was shortly after being a ballerina in Rome that I was able to have this dream. <laughs> you know my biggest source of inspiration is seeing other people who are independent filmmakers like me who may have been told their whole lives that this was an unobtainable dream, that this is something that was impossible. Um, and when they're able to make successes either on their own or through their own motivation, when they're able to find a way, um, that is my inspiration. I've seen filmmakers like Soderbergh who was very independent initially and he became a huge success. Um, Arnowski, he's such a young filmmaker and his films really break the mold. I see people like that and I'm inspired by them. But besides that, even people like um, extremely micro films that are in, that are playing festivals all over the world. For instance, um, I went to Fantastic Fest in America and there are all kinds of independent filmmakers that no one had ever heard of before. There was a South Korean film called Fatal. There was a sci-fi film called Coherence that were completely inspirational to me because these people were just normal people like me and they were able to just take their ideas and their stories and make film out of them and make their own dreams. They didn't just dream, they made their own dreams a reality on their own. There, there are many ways that we can approach inspiration through my films. I hope that one inspiration is to see that um, women's stories are important and that women are um, can be independent and have a different perspective than what normally people would perceive. That is one inspiration that I want, for just for people to understand this sort of perspective. But another inspiration that I have is I really want for a new generation of filmmakers who are very indie to be able to say, I only have $5,000, I just have a Canon DSLR. If she can make a film, so can I. And I hope that that's another source of inspiration that people can receive from me because I really believe that if you're motivated enough and if you have a dream that you can make it reality through many, many roads and many avenues, you know. I mean, my first film was seriously made with less than $5,000 and just a little <laughs> DSLR camera. <laughs> Yeah, every, every book to be read uh, has to be opened. So, yes. Uh, yes, yes, and if you don't open that book, you'll never know what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true that. Okay, okay, thank you, Matty. Thank, thank you. you, thank you.